only one hair rebanding ako. Um, using this Aglo Professional Hair Straight Rebanding Cream Set. Permanently straightens curly, wavy, kinky hair the safe, silky, shiny way. I will show you the stuff that I need to do it and I'm gonna do it myself only without any help. I did it twice before and yes, it came up very good but yeah, and then I decided to do it again because as you can see, wavy na siya ulit, tapos curly na siya because I have a natural um, wavy hair. Yes. So, tira-tira pa ito nung mga, nung dating, um, last, ano yata yun, last February yata ako nung, to last ko tong ginawa. Tapos, ganito na siya ulit. So, guys, as you can see, I have two gloves. Kasi, yung first formula, kailangan mo na gumamit ng gloves. As well as, kailangan mo ito. Tapos, kailangan, pag makapal yung buhok mo, or, really, kailangan mo ng mga ipit na ganito. Pero ako kasi, sobrang kapal ng buhok ko, kaya I need extras. Like, this one, and then, I need this. This is the hair, they call it hair protect. So it's the same brand too. And yes, so you have the direction. And it came with the direction step by step on how you do your hair. Ang pinakamahirap lang kasi part nito yung pag, pagpa-plancha. Yun yung pinakamahirap. So meron ako nyan. Tapos of course, plancha. You need a hair dryer too. Kasi dalawang rinse yata yung nakailangan talagang totally, totally dry yung hair mo. And of course, you will be needing this. Para hindi to, magtutulo yung hair, yung hair, yung um, um, products from your hair. Siyempre, magkakalat. And of course, guys, you will need to wear um, not so fancy clothes like I am wearing right now. Para kung matuluan or mag-fade yung color niya, okay lang. At kailangan mo na extra towel. Okay lang yung lumang towel na lang yung gamitin. Kasi um, ano lang naman siya, pang salulong mga product na mahuhulog galing sa buhok mo. So, I prepared uh, the oldest towel I have. I already parted my hair, and yes, the next step is to apply this um, number one um, all over the hair. I have my gloves already, tapos I lalabay ko na siya um, sa loob ng 10 minutes lang. Tapos after noon, maghintay ako ng 20 minutes para ma-penetrate yung product sa hair ko. Tapos, magpaproceed ako. Apply ko na yung um, cream, yung number one. Um, Nag-time ako ng 20 minutes. Na, nilagay ko siya dito. Hindi ko na siya binalot ng cream wrap. Kasi, yung ano lang naman, yung mga tumubo lang yung nilagyan ko talaga. So, ganito lang yung ginawa ko. Tapos, ibababad ko siya ng 20 minutes. Tapos, ang sunod na step, pag napass mo na yung nut test, so, i-rinse mo na yung hair mo thoroughly with lukewarm water until water runs clear. The straightening cream must be completely washed off. Do not shampoo. So, lilinisin ko yung aking mga ginamit para next time na namitin ko, malinis na siya ulit. So, ang, kasi yung number two, pwede ka nang hindi gumamit ng gloves. So, yung gloves na ito, na ginamit ko, lilinisin. So, guys, um, na, na rinse off ko na siya yung first, um, first product, first cream, first step. Na rinse off ko na siya. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko, i-blow dry ko siya ng konti. Tapos, um, I will let it um, stay damp. And, mag-spray tayo nito. After noon, um, blow dry, completely blow dry, tapos pwede na ang mag-proceed sa ironing. So guys, ito na yung hair na um, na-blow dry ko na siya, tapos, um, nisprayan ko na rin siya nitong Aglo Protect, Hair Protect. It restores keratin, helps repair and seal damaged hair, makes hair smooth, silky, shiny, and straight. So, yeah, this is necessary. So, if you wanna do your hair, you have to get this as well. Pero, I think meron din naman mga ganito na nabibili dito sa US, pero iba nga lang na brand. Pero yung may keratin na, na formula ang gamitin. Make sure na it's completely dry. Tapos, kung meron kang gloves para hindi ka mapasok sa, sa um, processing ng pagpa-plancha, wear it para mas madali. Tsaka, yes. Tapos, sabi dito, ang um, set ang plancha sa 180. So, I don't know. So, ilalagay ko na lang sa middle to be safe. Because this one doesn't have any... Um, heat um, numbers here, how hot it is. So, nilagay sinet ko siya sa middle para, kasi yung hair ko naman kasi may kulay siya. So, baka baka mag-breed daw siya lalo. And hopefully it turned out real good. So, as you can see, this is my hair. This is how curly it is. You see that? It's it's curly. It's not curly. Like, wavy siya. Let me show. So, guys, this is the first batch. <laughs> First batch ha, which is it turned out really, really smooth and super shiny niya and so soft. So, ngayon siya, bagsak na bagsak as you can see. Compared to this one, na hindi ko na pa-plancha, diba? So, yeah, this is how it looks. I'm so excited. But, yeah, it is going to be, 
not fast. This is not an easy peasy part. So far, guys, ito na siya. Yung pinaka first um, strand all the way down. Ito na siya. Maganda siya. As in, as in super ganda na niya. Super bagsak. Yun siya. Maganda. Maganda. So, proceed na tayo sa second layer. And then, I think I'm going to have four layers. But, yeah. I'm pretty happy sa akin nalabas. Nakita niyo, ano siya? Um, super, super straight. So, natapos na yung ironing process. So, this is how it looks now. Ayan siya, di ba? Ang sakit sa balikat. Pero, worth it naman siya. Super bagsak ng buhok ko. As in, ang ganda niya, oh. Super ganda ng buhok. Ang lambot. Super pagod. So, nasa kalahati pa lang ako. Tapos na natin yung step 3, which is this, the apply her straight neutralizer cream. Tapos, yeah, nilagay ko siya. Tapos, I waited 20 minutes and then I rinse it off until the the um the water is completely like clear and then piniga ko na siya so we're preparing now to put conditioner and then leave it to my hair for five minutes but i'm not using the same brand as the um thing i says i don't have their conditioner which is the aglo conditioner but i'll be using this l'oreal paris total repair extreme renewing conditioner i'll put it all over my hair and um leave it for five minutes and rinse it off so we're, I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. This is the part that um, I put my conditioner and I already timed five minutes. I'm just letting it sit and yes. And then after this, I'm gonna rinse it off and blow dry my hair using um, cool air from the hair dryer, not hot, cool. And yeah, and cut some split ends or whatever, but I'm not gonna do that because as I've said, I already did my hair last month and it's i don't have split ends right right now so i'm gonna skip that um steps and yes i'm going to iron it again and then uh, let it sit or let it just no taking about for 10 days so step five the tayo which is finishing touches with aglo hair coat but i don't have that so i'm just gonna i don't know maybe i'll find something here wait maybe i'll just put nothing i don't know Demon work so i'll just leave it as is and i'll just um do the towel dry which is i am now i dried it and i'm just talking that's why i just do it like this and say cut off trim and then optional that's optional and then optional final ironing for an excellent sleek finish section without clipping the hair it is best to have an assistant hold the section pair and form two inch wide hair strands but thicker strands this time so, before, super nipis talaga. As in, parang kapil sa nipis yung pagka-plancha mo. Pero this time, medyo okay na makapain. So, yeah. Hindi na masakit. Medyo masakit sa balita. And, iron quickly for final touch-up all around the head. This would take about 10 to 15 minutes, more or less. There's a note. It says, if rebonding needs to be repeated for some reason, wait at least 7 days. I'm gonna, um, iron this. And, yes, I'll be back. And I'll show you the finished product. Tapos, um, so nag-parway natin ito ng ganyan, yung isa, itira natin dito sa taas. Kasi, parang ano pa rin siya, no? Parang buhaghag. Buhaghag pa rin, buhaghag siya after nung um, last um, part. I don't know why, but let's see how it turned out after nitong pag-plancha natin. So, spray muna natin siya tapos. So, ayan na siya. Medyo bulky-bulky pa. Maybe because it's na, like, um, ayan siya, oh. Medyo, ano siya, buhaghag. Ang kapal kasi nakakot talaga ng buhok ko, as in. Pero, let's see. So, ready na tayo mag-plancha. So, um, tuyo na to, as in, in a cool setting, ng low hair dryer. So, ipa-plancha na namin siya. But because I don't have any help, um, Clean it lang yung iba sa taas, pero make sure na when you, pag na-plancha mo na, na yung nasa taas, I'll just make sure na hindi ko siya ikit ulit. So, let's see. We're gonna work on this first, and I'll show you guys how it looks. Oh. So, isang-isang pasada pa lang yan. Ano na siya? Um, super straight na. Yan. Wait lang. Maglalagay ako ng gloves kasi naigit. Hindi ko kakayanin na init siya. So, maglalagay tayo ng gloves. Balik tayo. Maglalagay tayo ng gloves kasi super init talaga. I mean, okay lang yung init niya. Nasa medium heat siya. Pero pag hinahawakan mo kasi yung hair na init, so I'll be wearing gloves para mas madali at hindi ako mapasok. So ganito siya. So dito tayo sa kabila.
So, ito yung first box, guys. As you can see, ayun siya, oh. Maayos, maganda. Super, as in, super ganda. Ayun siya. I'm so happy naman. Happy na naman siya. Uh. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, ito lang natin dito sa taas. Ibababa ko. Ayan siya. Ay, naku. Sobrang nakakapag-garnish. Ang diba? So guys, yes, I'll let you judge the outcome. So this is the outcome. This is our finished product. There. Let's see. It's so soft, like super soft, like that. But, huli doon natin siya para hindi masayang ating pinagpabura. So, this is how it looks. And, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. This is how it looks. So, yes, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. And this is how you take care of your newly rebonded hair. It says, do not shampoo or wet your hair. Do not use clips or rubber bands. Do not pull your hair back or tuck it behind your ears or style it into a ponytail. Do not wear sunglasses on top of head. Do not wear hats or any headgear. Do not use any styling products. Do not allow humidity or sweat into your hair. Do not color, bleach, highlight, or perm your hair for 10 days.